हेलो वेरी वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू डियर इन अवर यस्टरडे क्लास वी हैव सीन प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस वर्ड देर वॉज इन प्रेजेंट का परफेक्ट टेंस सो वी हैव सीन इफ समथिंग हैपन रिसेंटली ओके एंड सो वी कैन यूज प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट इफ सपोज समथिंग स्टार्टेड इन प्रेजेंट समथिंग स्टार्टेड इन पास्ट इन इन प्रेजेंट स्टिल रनिंग एंड इट विल रन इन फ्यूचर ऑल्सो सो दैट Uh, that can be not also present perfect okay and uh, if suppose something uh, already started in present or so something started in past but its effect is still existing in present that is also present perfect okay so we have seen in present perfect uh, what i have tell you told you yesterday number one an action uh, that has recently been completed an action that has recently been completed like i have just taken my tea an action that has recently been completed i have taken my tea okay number 2 an action whose time is not given okay we have not given time some time so have you done msc like sentence have you done msc in mess so here uh, the action whose time is not given also present perfect number 3 past event which effect still exist event of past okay it can be event of past but whose effect still exist like i have finished my work that's why i am free for helping you okay why i am free right now for helping you because i have finished my work okay next action that started in the past and still continue okay and uh, possibly to run in future also means action that started in the past running in present and will run in future okay that also denote present perfect like i have already <coughs> i have already used this brand of soap i have already used this brand of soap like that next then uh, we have uh, one more thing uh, to show an experience of the past okay for showing past experience okay to show an experience of past so experience of past means dowry has taken lives of many dowry has taken lives of many dowry okay dowry has taken lives of many like that and one more we have gone to uh, manali thrice we have gone to mumbai thrice so past experience can Uh, be denoted by present perfect we have gone mumbai thrice three time okay like that past experience last action action was going on in the past and is still going on okay means action that started in the past okay and running in present like uh, where you can uh, show a time also like uh, we we have lived we have lived here okay uh, or suppose uh, i have okay i have lived here for a year i have lived here for a year okay and uh, she had completed uh, her homework okay for a year so like that you can use okay she had completed her homework uh, for a year okay so here also we can use present perfect means <coughs> action was going on in the past and is still going on okay action was going on in the past and is still going on we can use since for we can attach since for structure also here like uh, i have lived here for a long time means when i started living in past in past i was living and in present also i am living okay so it means the work Start, the work was going on in the past and the work is going on in present it denotes present perfect so what was the structure yesterday we have discussed we have discussed that that subject plus has a v3 plus object okay and has not have not will keep in this case now we we'll talk about present perfect continuous tense what is present perfect continuous tense means part of the part of the work that we have completed is our perfect and still our work is going on it shows continuity okay both things we have okay 
an action that begin in the past an action that begin in the past and is still running an action that begin in the past but still running an action already completed but whose effect is still continuing an action already completed but whose effect is still continuing okay so like that we can use present perfect continuous tense example uh, we have been teaching you since morning okay the gardener uh, have been uh, watering the plants okay since 6 o'clock they have been uh, they have been quarreling with you for 2 hours they have been quarreling with you for 2 hours okay so it was the example subject uh, so if we talk about the structure what will be the structure of present perfect continuous tense subject plus has been have been v1 ing means fourth form of the verb subject plus has been have been fourth form of the verb plus object okay then since for or others okay subject plus has been have been fourth form of the verb plus object since for plus others okay so now it's time to check simple past what about the simple past we'll see simple past tense simple past means what will be the structure of simple past subject plus v2 plus object subject plus v2 plus object and uh, for making negative we will have helping verb did subject plus did not you are v2 turn to v1 subject plus did not v1 plus object while making interrogative will keep did before the subject did plus subject v1 plus object and question mark like that okay so we'll talk about past indefinite or simple past tense okay an action that happened in the past an action that happened in the past and to repeat okay to repeat completed action to repeat completed action okay an action that happened in the past okay with time it work an action that happened in the past with time it work so with time it work means uh, how we uh, how we example okay so we closed the shop at 8 pm we closed the shop at 8 pm okay the next she met me last year then i visited i visited the taj mahal 3 months ago i visited the taj mahal 3 months ago here ago here 8 pm here last year okay shows time it work so it means an action okay an action that happened in the past with time it work an action that happened in the past with time it work denotes simple past subject plus v2 plus object in negative subject plus did not v1 plus object okay next next concept to indicate past habits or repeated events okay to indicate to indicate past habits past habits or repeated events that are now over repeated events that are now over okay so here we can use simple past like i always repeated event okay i always rode a bike to school when i was young okay when i was young i always rode a bike to school okay i always rode a bike to school when i was young so repeated e- event okay repeated event so uh, to indicate past habits okay or repeated event that are now over okay so next uh, the habitual past if you have an, if you had any habit okay of past so the habitual past can be expressed by simple past the habitual past can uh, can be expressed by using simple past structure and will use used to used to okay we have a structure used to okay she used to drink tea in the morning she used to drink tea in the morning okay my grandfather used to okay read a few chapters of geeta every day okay my grandfather used to read a few chapters of geeta every day okay she used to drink tea in the morning okay uh, 
uh, we used to eat fresh apple okay in our village okay they used to play cricket in their childhood days like that means used to okay we use used to for habitual past for showing habitual past okay next sometimes sometimes simple past we use simple past without time adverb sometimes sometimes we use simple past without given any time adverb but in such case the time may be either uh, implied or indicated by context okay sometimes we use simple past without given time adverb in that case in in that case the time may be either implied or indicated by the context okay like i learn punjabi in chandigarh i learn hindi i learn english in mumbai so means it was a time period there was a time when i have learned so we have not given time adverb but uh, we have given some clue okay in context okay so in that case we have not given time adverb but the time may be either implied or indicated by context okay the time may be either implied or indicated by the context okay so in that case we can we can understand use of simple past okay be uh, sub as i give you example uh, we have sorry we learn english in mumbai so it was the definite time period where where on uh, when we learn okay. so it shows simple past because something happened in the past okay next to indicate another action which happened in the middle of a longer action to indicate another action okay to indicate another action which happened in the middle of longer action there was a longer action in uh, in between yeah along with the longer action okay in between the longer action there is a shorter action like so like the light went out the light went out while i was watching my favorite tv series the light went out while i was watching my favorite tv series so uh, a shorter action along with a longer action so that shorter action denotes simple past okay i was watching television okay while the light went out like that so what about the simple past structure simple past structure subject plus v2 plus object subject plus v2 plus object okay uh, we use simple in simple past we use second form of the verb then what about the negative structure so in negative we will use helping verb did subject plus did not and when we keep did not we will remove v2 we will turn v2 to v1 subject plus did not v1 plus object in interrogative did plus subject v1 plus object okay did plus subject v1 plus object okay so like that we can use okay subject plus v2 plus object subject plus did not v1 plus object did plus subject did plus subject v1 plus object okay so uh, okay in tomorrow's lecture we'll see the remaining tense learn everything properly thank you